Today we're going to make up a bit of a twist on a dish. I don't know how many of you out there have ever heard of something called sauerbraten. It is a classic German dish. We're going to be making our own version. We're going to make some sour broughten meatballs and we're gonna serve this over some egg noodles. Now pay attention, this one's gonna be very delicious, very unique. Inside this bowl, I have two pounds of ground venison. Now to this venison, I am going to add two teaspoons of our SPG seasoning. Delicious, so delicious. In this container, I have two tablespoons of our apple spice barbecue rub. Eat me every day to keep the doctor away. I'm going to add that in. In this bowl, you probably wonder what is that? This isn't breadcrumbs. This is ginger snap cookies. Cookie, 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 cookie. What I did is I took a box of ginger snap cookies, put them in our food processor, and blended these up real fine. Now here I have two thirds of a cup of ginger snap cookies. This bowl I have two small onions that I have finely chopped or diced. I have one large garlic clove which has given me almost a tablespoon of minced garlic. Two egg yolks. My last ingredient to go into this meat is going to be a half a cup of milk. With all of the ingredients added to this bowl, we are going to mix this up real well by hand. Then we are going to shape these into meatballs. Gave me roughly about 35 meatballs. So I have two baking trays. We are next going to take these and we're going to place these into a 350 degree oven and bake these until they reach an internal temperature of roughly 160 degrees. As they are baking, we're going to make up a gravy for these. Let's get started on that next to make our gravy for our sour brat and meatballs, I have four cups of beef stock. I'm going to pour that into our pot. I have one half cup of red wine. I also have one half cup of red wine vinegar mixed together here. We're gonna add that to our beef stock. I have one quarter cup of white sugar. Add that in. We're going to let this heat up, bring this to a low simmer. As we're waiting on our beef broth to simmer, we are also going to take a bag of egg noodles. We're going to cook these two direction. We've cooked our butter noodles per direction. We're next going to drain these. We're going to add a few simple ingredients to flavor these noodles. With the noodles drained, we are next going to add a half a stick of salted butter to these noodles. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of granulated garlic and a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We're going to give this a good stir. Our beef broth has come up to a gentle simmer. What we are going to do next, we're going to take our ginger snaps, add them in, give this a good stir. I also have here a six ounce bag of dried cranberries. These are craisins. We're going to add this in, the whole bag. So we're going to stir this well. And we're going to let this cook a good 10 minutes. We've allowed our gravy to simmer about 10 minutes. Our final step to this gravy is we're going to season this. Now this is to personal taste with your salt and pepper. We're going to use a teaspoon of our SPG. We're going to add to this. Now all that's left is combining all of our ingredients to plate up our meal. 
our sour Broughton meatballs, or sour Broughton style meatballs, are finished. This is a delicious meal, folks. If you guys like Swedish meatballs, this is a twist, and this dish is extremely flavorful. It has your sweet, has your sour, it's got your savory, it's just packed full of flavors, and guaranteed, you are going to find this delicious. Double delicious. We thank you very much for joining us here at TNT Spices. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave comments. We always love to hear from you guys. Any ideas, let us know. In the meantime, to each and every one of you, we want to say thank you and God bless. Bless you. Bless you. TNT.